Welcome back, this is Mr. Cisneros. In the next couple of videos, we're going to be learning about what are called working drawings or drawing files. Here's an example of one. You can see that we have this part here. This is an isometric view of our part. And what we do is we take um, different views of this part to kind of break it down and to learn more about it. So right here we can see that we have a front view of this part. We have the top view and we have the right side view. What we also have are what are called dimensions. It gives information about how the part is made, created, the size of it. So you can see, for instance, the total height of this part from here to here would be four inches. Um, if we zoom to the other view, we can see that the width from here to here would be 9.25, nine and a quarter. If we look lower, we can see that there's this information here. This is actually called a title block, and that's what this video is going to show you how to access. We're going to have our own custom title block. It's going to have our class name, our school, little picture here, and there's going to be room for us to provide a little bit more information about who the designer is, what the project is called, what the file name is called, and then the scale of how it's put into the drawing file. Um, so to get started, we do have to grab this custom title block. That's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Schoology. And in our Schoology course, at the very top, there's going to be this document here called IED Master Title Block. This is going to be a blank, uh, a blank version of this title block right here. And I call it Master Title Block because it's going to be something that you leave blank at all times. Um, if, if you ever use this master title block for a project, say like that wooden tray that I was just showing you, you would do a file save as and you could change the name so that it is called, say, wooden tray. You would never want to save over this. You'd always want to leave it blank. And I'll get more into that in the next couple of videos. So to get started, all we have to do is download this. So if you're on your computer, um, this might be a little bit easier. If you're on your iPad, you might um, need to press a couple of different buttons. So uh, in order to download this, you would click on it and then click on it again. If you're using Chrome, it should come up right down at the bottom. If you are using your iPad, there might be an option for you to save um, to files or it might even give you the option to take it into a certain app or send it to a certain app. That app that you should choose is your Google Drive, right? So if you have the option on your iPad to send this over to Google Drive, please do that. Um, if you're on your computer, it will come up down here in your downloads folder. So what we can do is we can go to Google Drive, we can go to new, we can go to file upload, and then we can go to our downloads folder and it should show up right here. I can click on this and I can click open. It'll upload to Google Drive and since it's uploaded to Google Drive we should probably put it into um, our IED folder. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to go over here show file location There it is, and I'm going to right click, move to, and I'm going to look for my IED 2020-2021 folder, which is, which is right here, and I'll click move. So now that that's in our IED folder, we should be able to access that on AWS. So in our AWS, what we're going to do here is we're going to open up that title block. And right here we can go to open, through inventor. And we can go and look for that. We're going to have to actually go back away from our speaker box. So we're going to hit the last folder or maybe even one level up. And then there it is. There's the IED master title block. All right. And you can actually even see the picture there. We're going to go ahead and go open. And there it is. We have our own custom title block here. And we'll end the video by saving this, but we have to remember 
to do a save as um, because we're going to be putting our speaker box in here our different parts from our speaker box um, it won't be a good idea to just write over this master title block with our speaker parts on here so what we'll do is we'll do a file save as and we'll go into our speaker box folder and we'll call this speaker box uh, maybe even initials underscore speaker box and then I'll click save and that's it for this video we'll see you in the next one where we start adding to our title block mm -hmm.